Hi there, I'm Ben and welcome to part 5 of my Let's Platinum Bioshock walkthrough. Um, we have just left Smuggler's Hideout and we are now in Arcadia. If you want to know what we're doing with all of these videos, basically we're getting all of the trophies in one run through of the game. So I'm just checking here that the Vita chambers are turned off still because it, apparently it can flip. So make sure you do that every time you go to a new area or have loaded the game up, whatever. Um, and that's that. So for this area, as you can see, no, in the previous crate, there was something new. Does this one have anything? No, no, it doesn't. So we're going to start there, shell casing. So we're going to start um, finding parts for constructing certain ammo and items that happens from now until the end of the game so everything we search is going to have things like shell casing empty hypo needles uh, rubber hosing things like that so you're going to want to be searching everything what you're not going to want to be doing is using those items to invent i think it's called in this game uh, items until right at the end of the game when we've until after we've gotten a certain tonic that maximizes the uh, the usage of these items. So you can see their kerosene and things like that. Um, I'd, at the start here, I'm accidentally there, that shot, is because I have a tonic on. Um, I think it's called Rummage or something like that. We got it in the previous area. Uh, the name will come up shortly. Um, it allows you to sort of re-roll what you find in uh, bodies and corpses or um, crates, things like that. And it's R2, so sometimes you kind of shoot the gun by accident. So here's our first uh, audio diary, so pick that up. There's quite, a f there's two or three in this area in quick succession, and then there's nothing for a while. We just have these apparitions working around. So while we just pick up these two, there's two through this door. Uh, I'm just going to let the, uh, the the dialogue play out while we're waiting. Um, I'll just mention about this area. So... This is kind of the midpoint of the game. It's a beautiful looking area, but it's quite complicated and you can get lost easily if you don't know where you're going. Um, there's this area, Arcadia, and then there's the Farmer's Market, and then we will be coming back to Arcadia because we have to go into Farmer's Market and find something and then bring it back. So there's going to be this video, then there's going to be the Farmer's Market, and then there's going to be an Arcadia Part 2. So we're not going to be getting everything in Arcadia in one go, We'll be getting a few things. I think it's just actually one audio diary and uh, some items we need for the, the story progression in the second Arcadia video. So I'll, I'll bring that up later on. So we've just got the all the audio diaries out of that little room there. There's two there. And then here we've been introduced to a new enemy. This is the Houdini. Well, there he is. You sh shouldn't be able to take a picture of him at this point because he runs away, but I do quickly. So that's the Houdini Spicer. On the harder difficulty, definitely one of the more annoying enemies because they disappear like Houdini, I suppose, um, and reappear behind you and start firing uh, fire bolts at you, basically. So you see there, it's a pretty cool effect running through the water. So just check everything. So there's another grenade launcher. Not that I, I don't particularly use them. So here you'll see me do it there. I re-roll and nothing appears and the, the crate becomes unusable. So it's a good tonic to have on. I will try and look up the name, and if I haven't found it, I will put it on screen. Now, um, in this episode, I do get two trophies. You may not, but don't worry if you don't. Here's the Houdini Spicer introducing himself. <laughs> let's, uh, let's just take a picture. Instead of attacking him and being scared, we just take a picture of him. Uh, so just get a, as many as you can. Should be able to take four if you have the photographer's eye now, so that's uh, going to help us out. So I get two trophies, I get fully researched Thug Splicer or Thuggish Splicer. Um, you, we haven't seen those since we've got the camera, but there's loads of them in this area. It's probably the main enemy, so you should be able to do that yourself. Don't worry if you don't, because you will see more later on. And then I get one for fully upgrading a weapon, because there is another Power to the People station right near the end of this level. Uh, I've up, I upgrade the shotgun again. Uh, there, something I'll just mention actually. The chlorophyll solution that you just saw me get from that splicer is needed for a story progression mission. We need to find seven different items, um, sorry, three different items, seven of each. So there's chlorophyll solution, uh, enzyme sample, and distilled water. Chlorophyll solution we find um, 
on Houdini splices, on and around Houdini splices, there's a, a an area where they sort of hide. Uh, we'll be going back to that when we come back to this area. And then distilled water and enzyme sample can be found in a uh, farmer's market. That's why we go there. But that's uh, that's till later on. That's later on anyway, in the, as part of the mission, near the end. Um, so this is the thuggish splicers now. You, you've seen these. These are the melee ones. With the shock um, uh, tonic on, they're pretty easy to deal with because they hit you and die pretty much. So they are nothing to worry about. So again, just do the research for this early floor there's nothing else up here with regards to uh, diaries or collectibles or anything so we're just doing research and we are finding items so here whenever you see a new enemy make sure you take some pictures there are just two um, little sisters in this area so there's a tonic um, that's for level two of the thuggish splicer there are two little sisters in this area. We will be taking care of them as we come across them. Um, and then there's one in Farmer's Market. So there's uh, that is the three. Because the, the areas are kind of combined, but not. It's, it's strange. So that, I'm doing separate videos because this one is 41 minutes. Uh, and Farmer's Market is probably going to be about half an hour in itself. Because you can do a lot of running around looking for things in there. So here's uh, vending machines and of course turret. We want to be taking pictures of those still. I think I finished the the uh, research for turrets and drones for bots in this this episode as well. Don't get trophies for those, but they are needed for the overall research trophy. Avid, no, I oh, forget that. You know what I mean. So the reason we are just collecting things and not um, so there's some more kerosene. Uh, put, uh, making anything is because you can kind of run out of materials and you'd have to go out of your way to really try and farm more because you need to create uh, 100 items so this is just a crawl space so we'll be coming out of the, there in a minute I'll show you where that is we'll be creating um, we need to invent 100 items so we're going to be do, doing ammo or anything that's cheap and if you run out of uh, resources, materials, you're going to have to try and sort of farm it, and that's not going to be fun. So we want to try and maximize our uh, usage of it. We will also be uh, inventing three tonics as well, but they use slightly different things, so um, not to worry with that. I think they actually use chlorophyll solution, one of them does. So Houdini splices um, are going to be our friend for that. We will find plenty of that. There is uh, four of them, uh, four of the seven uh, in one sort of little area. Um, but we should have roughly five of the chlorophyll by the time we leave this area without going into the extra. So there's definitely nine or so in this area. So that's seven for the main mission and then um, some two towards creating our tonics. So this is just the crawl space we saw before. There comes out the other side, but there's a, a sec I don't know what these up with these dead cats. I don't know if they're dead cats or they're uh, the sort of like garden gnome type things. Uh, I don't know what's going on with those. So I don't use um, I don't do hacking anymore. If you if you've got your fifty, you can stop. Unless you're going to use a vending machine like this one here. I'm just checking for film, and I see that I actually do need to hack. So I'm going to have to hack this one. But you're not going to see it because we are just going to skip right past it as usual. Um, no, you've hacked it for a reason. There you go. You're going to be buying some more film. So whenever you get the chance, stock up on film because it's pretty much the only thing you're going to spend your money on. Uh, maybe ammo, am, am, anti-personnel or anti-armor ammo, things like that. But yeah, you should not You should find most stuff in the world because enemies take so few bullets on this difficulty. It's just not going to be a problem. So there's another thuggish splicer. He's, I think this is one where he actually hits me and dies instantly, which is pretty funny. Here we go. Yeah. So that's what happens to those people. So, yeah, getting lost. This looks like the other area we're in, exactly. So it is quite easy to get lost in this area. I do have sort of a, a mental map in my mind at this point because I've been through here a few times, but even I can still get turned around a bit. 
because it is it's like nothing else in the game with all this foliage it's, it's a really cool idea it's obviously where all the the oxygen is made for um uh, uh, not atlas for rapture well that eluded me for a moment so there's another houdini so here we get a tonic called natural camouflage now i actually really like this tonic um if you stand still for a moment you become invisible uh, so that's what when you see me sort of fading and I'll sort of shimmer my gun will become blue uh, That's because I've become invisible and it's really helpful on harder difficulties when you're sort of in a horde Mode type situation which will happen later on when we return to our Arcadia There's sort of a horde mode bit uh, And you can hack a load of cameras and turrets and just hide in the corner uh, disappear so to speak and um they will take care of all the enemies, which is pretty cool. But it's not essential on this difficulty, obviously. So here I'm going to re-roll and nothing happens. Most of the time you don't get anything else great, but sometimes you can get some more materials. So here's the first um, Rosie. We're still on Rosies here. We're not on Bouncers again yet. Bouncers appear later on. Um, so he's just going to take on her. I'm trying to get the, the little sister and the, the Rosie separated, but it's not happening, so just get some pictures. That's a nice A anyway. So there are the photographer's eye. You can see the little bonus giving us 15% extra on every picture we take. Uh, don't you? Another A. That's pretty cool. So we've got the plus plus damage. When we're getting through there with the Rosies now. Uh, there are more later on, obviously. And little sisters. A couple of snaps there. No, we've got the lead head by accident, even though she's nowhere to be seen. She's blocked by the, the rosy. That's pretty much it for that one. So now it's uh, my turn. You can see I'm sort of fading there. That's because I'm becoming invisible because I've, uh, I'm not moving. You can reload your weapons and things like that, and uh, you still remain invisible, which is pretty cool. I'm shocking him, and that's that one done. Obviously, if you, I would advise you do a save before interacting because you can accidentally harvest um, little sisters because they're the same button as reload. And if you're like me, every time you fire a gun or if you've finished firing a gun, you'll reload because it's just natural reflex at this point after playing games for so long. So try and get, yep, yeah, we do get another picture, which is surprising. It is only a C, but it all helps. And that's it. So you can see at the bottom, I'm getting another uh, teddy bear at the the gatherer's garden. We will be getting that later on, so don't worry about that. And it does sort of follow you around. If you don't get it at this one, um, you'll get it at the next one you see, wherever that may be. Oh, didn't see you then. Uh, too late. <laughs> I guess we're not having a picture of you then. So the gene bank, if you need to switch your uh, things. So the, here is a camera spotting me. I'm going to use this opportunity to try and get through some more um, security bot research because I just want to get that done. And I do later on. Not with this one, but there's another security camera. And I take advantage of that and, um, yeah, get it finished so I can just uh, kill these as, uh, as they turn up. I don't have to worry about them anymore. A really cool... Um, a buff it's not buff uh, it's not a tonic it's just kind of a passive ability that happens uh, I think I get it in a minute uh, for level 4 is that security bots will become hacked instantly so when you press square to hack on them um, you don't actually go into the mini game they just hack and that's it which is, is really helpful uh, because we don't want to be doing we've done so much hacking we'd want to do as little as possible towards the end of the game and I think the developers knew that so I'm getting through it now. Just a couple more. But we've got 33 seconds left on the timer, so that's going to be not, not be a problem at all. I actually get really low on health, so <laughs> definitely don't do this on a harder difficulty because you're just going to get murdered. But you can actually see my health get pretty low because I'm just not used to looking at my health on this difficulty. So there you can see uh, hacking security bots is now instant, basically. Um, and I'll demonstrate that now by shocking one and hacking... And that's it. He's now mine, which is uh, which is awesome. Um, yeah, my health dips pretty low. Uh, I, I don't ever look at my health because I just kind of don't have to. 
Um, and it, it nearly died at this point, and I haven't saved for a while. So it's um, pretty lucky. So there's another one. A, you see how little we're getting from A's now. That's because we're coming up to the last one. Or I am anyway. Hopefully you are as well. And we can just ignore cameras. We can ignore bots and everything. Just destroy them all and run through the game. Definitely make things easier. So we do need to go in that grotto area. Uh, because there's a bunch of... Um, audio diaries in there but we're going to push the story th for, uh, further first because the story actually demands that we go in there but um, I think we go it's called rolling hills or something like that we'll go in there first this area you you never need to come here um, there's no reason to come here well there's that I suppose but um, you can get thuggish splices anywhere so that's a, a two I don't use that I think you actually move faster but you move pretty quickly in this game anyway so it's not too much of a problem um, this area, there's there's nothing really here, but I've just come down here. I think there might be a Houdini, so it is worth it for the chlorophyll. But if you've noticed, around this area, there's kind of water underneath it all. This is just where it ends. Um, it was a pretty cool... I, I remember this being a, a multiplayer map, actually. I don't know whether it was on this one or the second one. Was the multiplayer on this on the PS3? Uh, I remember this being a pretty good map, actually, because I used to always use that water bit. But here's another Houdini. We're just going to um, try and take some pictures of him. Uh, and there's a UN vent down here and just some shell case and just stuff we need to collect for later on, basically. So here's another thuggish splicer. I think this is another example of him hitting me and dying. We will find out in a second. So we get some good ranks there. He's winding up. Oh no, he's just gonna get, yeah, he's gonna die the old-fashioned way. So that Houdini splicer should appear again. There's another crate, been a napalm, some empty shells there. There he is. No, yes. Where is he? I'm sure he appears again. Cause I'm looking around. There he is. Yeah, I'm looking around for him. Get some pictures. Definitely one you want to get out of the way. One of the more annoying ones. So there's another rank up. We're on plus plus, so that's rank three. Of five. And it's time for you to go. Does he hold chlorophyll? He does, yes. So it is worth getting this one coming down here, getting him. Uh, because we do need chlorophyll later on. You will have enough uh, just following the path that I do. But um, just get as much of it as you can. Uh, there's another turret down here. This is a grenade one, which I don't realise until walking into it. But obviously easy is not a problem. And I just want to get this research out of the way. So I can stop talking about it mainly. And uh, speed the videos up with all these pictures being taken. Uh, we are getting through it quite quickly. Most of them are done. Probably in the next couple of levels we'll be going to be uh, completely done with research. Hopefully. So they're re-rolling again, and a shell casing turns up this time. So have the tonic on. We did get it in the last area. Rummage. What is it called? I want to say rummage, but it doesn't sound right. So here's another, the second uh, Rosie of the level. She, she. I want to say she, probably she, he, he or she, doesn't have um, a little sister with her yet, but she's going to go up to... Um, one of those portals and get one so we're going to wait it out because we do come back to this area but it's just nice to get them out of the way so we have the Adam and they're basically ticked off we don't need to worry about them unfortunately it's right up at the top of the hill near the door we came in so we just going to have to wait a minute uh, grab that audio log while we are waiting uh, if you've noticed I may I have I've not been doing the map so for anyone who's just looking for the thing I completely forgot to do the map <laughs> I didn't realize I think it was after this one I realized I've not been doing the map and from then on uh, I'll show you on the map where we are because I'm going on about how this level is like a maze and then I'm not showing the map when I find items so I do apologize for that so the portal is just behind this tree so we'll load up you see there I'm di I've disappeared so it's definitely a cool tonic to have on 
one of the more helpful ones that's for sure so he's just going to get this little sister out if he hadn't got the little sister out he wouldn't be dying in a second so oh dear there we go free to do so and then get some pictures of the little sister there we go nice A rank there again I keep to keep mentioning about saving before interacting with these and I never seem to do it it's because I've got so much going on with regards to pathing and I'm trying to remember where everything is um, I keep forgetting to save but yes do save before you take these on because last thing you want to do is replay the next the last 15 minutes because you press the wrong button so yeah she's done have a look through the rosy, so re-roll there, and re-roll there and get three more dollars. Still come pick it up though. So off to the right there is one of the uh, the Houdini hideouts. I'm going to show you another one in a minute. I thought that was um, health, but it's not. Uh, and off to the left there was the second Houdini hideout. I'm going to show you that again in a minute. Everything's going to go pear-shaped now because we need to leave through that door, but that's not going to happen. Uh, Ryan is going to shut everything down and this gas is going to come down. It's not lethal, but what it essentially is doing is killing the trees, I believe. Uh, and it's up to us to find a way to stop that. So we need to go and speak to Julie Langford, who is through these doors. I'm just sort of waiting for the dialogue to finish and everything. Um, and then we're going to go through it. There's a camera just to the right. It is a good one to hack because enemies do try and come through here, but um, I don't need to. I'm just take a few pictures and get rid of it. And then we're going to go into Julie Langford's uh, lab. So there the, the goal is finished, is changed, sorry. So the arrow is going to point us in the right direction. Some nice film there, lots of things that we don't need. And then there's a machine around here, an ammo machine if you need it. And then we're going to go on. And there's straight away as we go through here. Oh no, forgive me, you don't go in here yet. We need to, sorry, this is moving the story on um, to the point where we need to go back to the first area, um, that I, waterfall grotto that I pointed out and said there's a lot of audio diaries in there. We need to go in there first. Sorry, yes, I'm getting ahead of myself. As you can probably tell, Julie is a, a botanist and she's sending us to go and find a special rose. So we've got to go and do that. And that is found in the Waterfall Grotto where all the audio diaries are. So these thuggish splices have um, spawned now and that is pretty good because that is going to allow me to get a bunch of A ratings and B ratings and finish off the thuggish research. So there's the trophy. These guys are now nothing to me. I can just kill them as I come across them. So that is fantastic. Another one out of the way. Don't worry if you don't get the trophy at this point. There are plenty more thuggish splices in the game. But it's a good one to get out of the way. So here is um, one of the Houdini hideout type things. Try and get some pictures. There is a an audio diary here. Uh, and I think this is actually the first one where I remember to take the show you the map. So just take a few pictures. We're not going to go in there yet we're just going to peek our head into the entrance and get the audio diary there yes do we do the do i remember yeah so we're back on maps now so you can see all these arrows these up and downs i should have been showing you but this is actually the start there is the tea garden and we've worked our way around into the lower rolling hills so that is there and then ahead here is there is the second one and there is two chlorophyll solutions in each so we will be coming back to those just later on when we come back to Arcadia and once the um, the mission has sort of triggered uh, it will start counting how many we find so that's why I've left it for later on this is um, where are we now we are in the waterfall grotto so this tonic if you've poked your head in here before this tonic wouldn't have been here until we uh, were told to actually come here and get the rose 
so this tonic will be here at this point we're going to pick that up security evasion uh, n nothing I'm too bothered about really but uh, it's up to you which ones you have on so I'm just showing you on the map where we are we will also be uh, in the second part of Arcadia we'll also be spending some more Adam at the, the machine which you probably just saw is behind us kind of on the map I'm not going to show you where that is because that's exactly where we were so these are traps we can get these ourselves later on when we get the crossbow um, they're good for taking down big daddies because you can just sort of run away and, um, and fire these little traps you need to hit the arrow head the arrow part so this is the arrow part the other side this doesn't have an arrow head um, so you need to shoot that and I'm just going to take pictures of this because that's what we do so you see I'm getting really close with the turret now as well halfway through the the last level yeah so halfway through level four and then there's a camera which has spotted me um, I was that wasn't intentional but I used this opportunity to finish off the uh, the security bot research now and uh, that's that done as well so I think security camera is actually getting pretty close as well but we don't finish it here it's like one C grade away unfortunately but here come the turrets so for the next 45 seconds I am going to be taking pictures of turrets actually it's probably less than 45 seconds uh, yeah, because I don't actually know where the uh, the switch in this area is Because uh, I wasn't planning on getting spotted So yeah, so there we go. That's level five of the security bots done because you get the plus 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 so That's the final grade the final buff um, So these can all be now taken care of Unfortunately, we've got more time 30 seconds. So there's gonna be a few more showing up We're gonna be going through this door in a second to get an audio diary I'm just going to wait for things to calm down a bit. Uh, obviously, we need the the shock, the electro shock, the electro bolt, whatever you want to call it, to get into that door. So, get rid of these. So, you're going to see me go invisible now, there. And the next bots come along and they do not see me. So, that is always an. Uh, there. See, they don't know where I am, but I shoot them anyway. So, that is always a. Uh, choice you can make as well is just to hide basically so in here there's another one of those weird dead cat things I don't know what that is all about uh, and another diary that's the first of three actually in quick succession so I'm just kind of show you where we are there in waterfall grotto there we go hypo no anti-personnel yes then we go down these steps here and there's another um, turret just off here so do we get the the plus 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 do we get there on this one I forget it's very close I think I'm trying to get I'm getting closer come on come on <laughs> but it's not happening so we have to take care of that one and then just to the right of us there where that red light is is our next audio diary and try and sort of play, let them play out. But well, here's the uh, obviously it's still in Waterfall Grotto, but we're on the lower floor now. On the bottom floor, he has plenty of stuff we needed. So there's the rows that we need for the the story progression on the red bit. There, we're just going to go in here while the uh, the audio is going on, and we're going to get surprised by a flame turret. I think this is actually the only flame turret in the game. I don't remember any others, uh, and it's kind of in an area you wouldn't necessarily come into so there plus 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 we're now done with turrets as well no trophies for those so don't expect a trophy for that but they are needed for the overall one so that's why I've had to do them so just search around in the handbag get everything and there is the alarm which I could have done with earlier on and then another diary here next to this rose I'm trying to activate it. Yeah, I need to step away. So there we go. And then we've got the rose, which means we will follow the arrow all the way back to Julie Langford's um, lab, and that's how we will gain access.
because we will put it in the pneumo uh, container, whatever you want to call it, and she will let us in. So back through to rolling hills and down the hills to the bottom. So yeah, it definitely maze-like, but uh, it does look good. That's it's, I'm conflicted on this area. It just doesn't. I don't know. I prefer the the uh, the Art Deco type areas of this game, really. The ones that really look um, stylish. So yeah, she's going to talk. We're going to there. When it turns yellow, you can put the rose in. There we go. She will say, "Ooh, this is smashing," and then, <laughs> and then she will let us in. Um, and you see, obviously, there's a tonic on the table there, directly ahead of us. There's quite a few things we're going to pick up here. Quite a lot of stuff to get in here. Hacking expert. I really don't need that anymore. Not doing much hacking in the way of hacking. So there I'm trying to show the map. We are in the research laboratories or laboratories, however you want to say it. There we go. Tea garden uh, was where we started. And then there's a diary straight away on the floor here. There is another, just up at the top there, that's another chlorophyll solution. Pick that up. It will all make sense in a minute when the, uh, the mission direct uh, objective changes. Security shutdown in three minutes. Don't worry, we're going to run through this area, so three minutes is no problem. I don't actually know what happens if it counts down. I think all the there's, all the turrets in this area, all these are friendly at the moment because they've got green lights on. Uh, presumably, they just become hostile and that's it. But that's going to happen once we leave this area anyway. So it's kind of a moot point. There's a new event. There's a, a vending machine. Unfortunately, that vending machine doesn't have uh, film in. So if you do need film at this point, you have to go to the one right at the beginning that was upstairs. Uh, I'm I'm okay at the moment for it. I think I've got about 40. I do look for some before we leave this area, but none of the vending machines seem to have some. So we will get some more in farmers market right at the start. So this is Julie. And should I say that was Julie because things don't end well for her. Andrew Ryan is having none of it and he's going to shut her down with this the Lazarus vector or something that she's trying to create. So unfortunately we're not going to be able to speak to Julie. Well, what she's going to do is she's going to leave us a message on this window. Nine, four, five, five, seven. And that is the code to her safe. But before we open the safe up, we're going to want to go and uh, loot her corpse, which is charming. Because she has a audio di diary on her, the Lazarus Vector. There is a U event here. We will be using that to uh, create something in a minute. Well, not in a minute, later on. But we here we're just going to get this safe. I'll explain what we need to do in a second with regards to the story. So it's nine four five seven. It's going to let us into this safe. There's going to be a key, and there's also going to be another audio diary in here. It's kind of a, a story related one, so you ha you're going to get this one, the Lazarus Vector for Formula, because we need to go and create the Lazarus Vector essentially, and then bring it back, and you can use that U Invent to create it, and then we're going to need to inject it into the area to stop the, the smoke or whatever it is, the mist, the green mist that's come down. It's killing everything. Camera here, is this my last camera? Because I was really close. Is this the last one? No, it's not. So I'm still on cameras. That's level four. So you see, it's going up really slowly. So that's level four. So yeah, I should show you at this point, but I, I don't. I'm trying to deal with these enemies. But it says there the multi part goal, which is the story goal. 
which essentially means we need to find chlorophyll solution, seven of, um, distilled water, seven of, and enzyme sample, seven of. So the, um, the objective is going to change to distilled water, which is going to take us to um, the farmer's market, which is going to be the next video. We're just going to be heading towards that area in a minute. There's just a few things we need to take care of. Um, this is a Houdini, so he's going to have chlorophyll on him. So once you've taken pictures of him, kill him and make sure you get it off his body. Because we need seven just to move the story along, and then we need some more to craft some uh, tonics later on. So you're just going to want to collect it up. Take care of him with this flame burster thing. So you can see chlorophyll, and it's actually marking us off there. We've got four of seven. We did get some more earlier on from uh, splicers. We put one up off that cabinet. Uh, there are four more in the Houdini hideouts, but we're going to try and get get them. Um, there, I'm just looking for film, and it doesn't have any in that one, unfortunately. We're going to try and get them off Houdini splicers without having to go into that area. And we're going to save that area for the um, the tonics we need to create. I'm going to try and do without. So on that cabinet there, if you missed it on the right, is uh, one of the chlorophyll solutions. And then we're on the way out, we are. it's going to change, and it's going to tell us about Farmer's Market, and it's going to point us in the right direction. There's actually quite a lot to collect on the way out. So that's our ultimate way out to the left. But we've got to go up here to the Farmer's Market first. Just take care of her because we, uh, oh, I don't need to research anymore. If you do, obviously do so. And we'd go back the way we came and then a quick sharp left is going to take us to Farmer's Market. I don't know what I'm looking for there. What am I looking for? Where am I going? I think I heard, oh, I think I heard a Big Daddy, which is weird because I've got all the little sisters, so I don't know why I'm looking. So it's just off to the left there is the audio diary. Um, we're just going to take care of these two first. He's a, a turret guy. Uh, if you need to take pictures, obviously do so, but I do not need the pictures for those two in, anymore. And here is the audio diary. I have remembered this time, and I'm going to show you on the map where it is. It's just on the way out there. So it's actually quite close to the, the starting area. Search through crates, because we got to... Got to get all those ingredients. And then we're going to go through this door. Here, this doorway. And then we're going to get the power to the people. So I'm going to get the trophy here for one fully upgraded weapon. That's because I fully upgraded the shotgun. There are two upgrades for each weapon. I've chose both for the shotgun. If you don't, don't matter. It doesn't matter, sorry. You're going to get all of the trophies anyway. We're going to get the, all of the, the machines, so you're just going to get them in a different order. That's fine. Don't worry about it. So another Houdini splicer does appear here, which is another opportunity for some more chlorophyll. So obviously get some pictures first. So as I mentioned at the beginning, so this area is kind of the midpoint. It's one big area split into two. Um, obviously Arcadia and Farmer's Market. We're going to finish this video up here once we go through the door into Farmer's Market. Then we're going to do a separate video for Farmer's Market. And then there's going to be one shorter video as we return to Ar Arcadia, clean up and get everything. You should have 16 audio logs by the time we leave this area. There's just one more to collect. Uh, come on, get out of the way. Um, and then there's one more in this area once we return, but we can't get it yet because the door is locked. Uh, the, the the exit door basically what the, the on the left hand side of uh, Julie's lab that's locked uh, and there is an audio diary behind that so we'll be getting on the way out but up at till this point you should have 16 audio diaries and um, I will show you at the end as I usually do here's the last one just before the steps here so yeah I'm gonna be doing this there's farmers market there's the goal Farmer's Market is actually an area I do enjoy. It's quite small, but it's um, it feels more like Bioshock again. It's not all the greenery, and it's, it's easier to get around. So we're just going to pick these up, go through this door. 
do as I usually do. We're going to go through the door. We're going to make a save. And then I'm going to show you all of the um, audio diaries that you should already have. 16 of 17. We will be getting the 17th on the way back. So that's going to be it for this one. Thanks very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one when we'll be going into the farmer's market.